I thought you were moving to the middle. Get out of my shot! <laughs> Hi guys, uh, so welcome to uh, the first episode of Third Act. Um, we're really excited to share this with you finally. Um, we wanted to do this first video a little differently than what the whole channel is going to be about, which is reviewing the shows, but um, this one's going to be a little different. We're just going to introduce ourselves, Get to, you guys are going to get to know a little bit about us. Um, but yeah, so let's just get right into it. Okay, um, so just a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Javi, for those of you who don't know me. I am a recent graduate from college. I graduated in May. I went to school in New York. I studied communications. I got my bachelor's degree in that. Currently, I, can I moved back home uh, to help my mom take care of some things um, for the family. And uh, so yeah, so now I'm here. I met this wonderful lady um, this past summer in our production of Mamma Mia with Dancing at Tiffany's. Yeah, I'm really excited to um, come back to this theater community that's grown so much since I left for college. Oh yeah. Which is, which is really great, really, yeah. really, really great. We're both in a Directing 2 project for our friend Brie. We're doing If Then. <laughs> yeah, and that goes up at the beginning of February. That's very exciting. Yeah, it's really I'm exciting. So it's a really fun that. experience. Um, it's only 15 to 18 minutes of the show. Yeah, we're really excited to do it. It's February 7th? Yeah. Um, we it's will open let you, to the public. Yes, yeah, so we will let you guys know the times on Twitter. So just follow us on that and we'll let you know a little bit more about that. Yeah, as well as auditions for some of them. I know there were some posted recently. Um, we'll definitely try to keep up to date with that. I know there's going to be a student directed for Dear Evan Hansen. Mm -hmm. And there's also going to be a student directed for uh, Waitress. Yes. But yeah, I can't, I don't really want to talk more about myself. You guys will get, you guys will get to know um, us as the weeks go on. So. Dead. <laughs> Oh. Hi, my name is Daniela, if you guys don't know me already. I am a current student at SCC and I am a drama major, but I'm transferring over to UTEP this next uh, fall and I'm going into the musical theater program there. I'm very excited for that. I've been doing theater since I was a freshman in high school. I've done a lot of things with crew, I've done a lot of things with stage managing, assistant stage managing, I've acted in high school one time and it was great, it was a great experience. Um, and also after high school I was on the fence of what I wanted to do and my director Lilia Fertigchi introduced me into the whole educational theater aspect. So I was a theater arts consultant for Pioneer High School for two years. From 2015 to 2017, it was one of the best experiences of my life. I met a lot of best friends there. I met a lot of lifelong friends there. We worked on Little Shop together, and we also worked on Romeo and Juliet, a transformative musical, and I believe that's on YouTube. So Lit. if you wanna go find <laughs> that. We worked on Romeo and Juliet for a long time and that was a student-led musical and I helped them through that and it was really, it was a fun experience. It was really fun. I know we got the inspiration from my senior year when we did Alice in Wonderland without a director and we actually put our own music in it. And we added music from the Beatles, we added music from um, many other incredible artists like Queen, Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> That was a mess. <laughs> so yeah, ever since I graduated, I've just been all over the place. So yeah, that's about it for me. I mean, you'll get to know me a little bit more later on, and if you want to follow me on, on Twitter, you know, yes. DM me. Be we'll, my put our, we'll put our ads in the description. Mm -hmm. Okay, so something we wanted to do for this video, just a quick Q&A between each other. Um, so we wanted to ask each other questions just so you guys get to know a little bit more about uh, who we are as people, as actors. What um, we like, what we don't like, yeah. and yeah. <laughs> so what is your vocal range? I know a lot of people wanna, I'm sure they wanna know this because uh, if you haven't heard him sing yet, you really should, so. Thank you. Uh, my vocal range, I'm not quite sure. Like I don't really know specifics, Okay. but I would say based on like what I'm capable of singing. I can sing most songs that are 
are meant for tenors. Okay. But not all of them. Some of them are a little too high, and I think that just has to do with the fact that I'm not vocally trained. So I don't know how to, like, properly sing that high. I feel like okay. I'm capable of it. You just gotta work up to I it? I just haven't, yeah. Like, I haven't okay. sat there and, like, worked at it. Because it's a muscle. Like, your vocal cords... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can... You can work at it, and you just it just takes time. Yeah, of course. If you could make any movie into a musical, which one would it be? One of my favorite movies is um, 10 Things I Hate About You. But then I also think about 13 Going on 30. Oh. Because, I don't know, just Ariana bringing it back kind of like made me watch it again, and then I was like... Yes, this would yeah. be great as a musical because it, it would also remind me of like a Freaky Friday kind of thing. Okay, yeah. Shout out to Dancing at Tiffany's. <laughs> but um, yeah, I feel like that would be super fun. What is your dream role? Currently or of all time? Both. Okay, of all time is Pippin. Um, Pippin's one of my favorite musicals. I just love the music from there and I think. The music that Pippin sings would be great okay. for my voice. <laughs> as selfish as that sounds. I really like all the songs from Pippin, so and I would love to play that role. Um, but if I had to say currently, I'm like super obsessed with Mean Girls right now. For those of you who yes. have not heard the soundtrack, I urge you strongly to go listen to it because it is iconic. Yes, it is. My dream role from that musical would be to I would love to see you sing. I Damien. would love. I love it when he sings um, Where, Where Do You, you belong? belong? In the car, <laughs> here. Anyway. I think it's great. I, I think I would have so much fun in that movie. Yes. Because I think I. It really fits you. Yeah, I think I embody Damien Hubbard on a daily basis. <laughs> you really do. Yes. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Hands down, Shane Dawson. Okay. But my runner up is Jeffree Star. Yes. Because he's iconic. Yes. And I love his makeup brand. This one is my favorite. And I need everybody to comment down below if this applies to you. Because if it does, I'd really like to know. What is your pet peeve? <laughs> um, the things that you do every single day. I Maybe. get... Um, very upset when people bite into their forks or their spoons and then they rip the fork or the spoon out of their mouth so it sounds like a sword is coming out of their mouth i absolutely hate that sound he does it all the time i don't even know how i can eat with him anymore i want to bring I'm, you it's gotten to the point where sometimes i'm very self-conscious when i eat around her it's very very and then he gets so dramatic because he puts his whole lips around the fork. <laughs> like well, you can't eat like way, a normal human being. It's the only way that I can prevent from possibly it biting It triggers me. So as an actor, what are your strengths and what are your weaknesses? So are we in pertaining to like musicals, right? Or like... Yeah. Or just in general? Musicals. Because I feel like... The reason I ask is because I feel like my weakness when it comes to performing in musicals is my acting. But it's not so much that I suck, because I don't think I suck. But I, I have... I have a little bit of difficulty when it comes to not... I feel like I'm very critical when I say certain lines because I feel like I'm still speaking like myself. Okay. I'm always self-conscious about that, so I'm constantly changing the way I say things. And also how I stand. That is so interesting. Yeah, also how I stand. I don't want to be Javi up there saying these lines. Like, I want to be the character. Of course. So that's something that I struggle with so much, but I think it's because I took a five-year break and I didn't really have... Yeah, that does that to you. Yeah, I didn't really have a lot of training. Before Mamma Mia, I hadn't sang in two years since and uh, two wow. and a half years. But yeah, it was it was really nerve wracking. So I mean, that w I would say that's my weakness, which is really funny as an actor that my acting is a weakness. But I personally <coughs> disagree because I have seen you. But I mean, we are our own. I think I'm critic. definitely getting better. Okay. But I, for my strengths, 
like, honest to God, I think I'm a really strong singer. I agree. It took me a long time to get to that point to be even able to say that. Okay. Because I always felt that if I said that, I was being conceited. Or I'm I was like, being that's like, like... And I'm not saying that I'm a perfect singer. I'm not saying that I'm better than anybody else because, no. But I'm confident in my voice now to say I'm a strong singer. And honestly, I think Mama Mia really helped me with that. So I'm excited about that. If you could win an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, or a Tony, which one would it be? A Tony, hands down. Okay. Because that's a lot more work. True. I personally think. True. I believe Tony's are one of the highest things that you can get. I don't know, I think an Oscar, you know, not that everybody can get an Oscar, that's not what I'm saying. You know, it would be more of an achievement of myself, of what I did, if I got a Tony. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, if I had to answer the question, I would say Tony too. Yeah. Because it does take a lot of work. Broadway actors do not get paid enough for what they do. No, they really don't. And I honestly despise people that disagree with that. Eight because, shows a week? Yeah. And it is. It's not just standing on a stage and singing. You're singing, you're acting, you're dancing, and sometimes simultaneously, all three. It would be so interesting to have a company down here in the valley doing a show for months. Yeah. That's great training. Like having a run. Yeah. A show. Yeah. Of like three, four months? Yeah, I think that would be great. That would be pretty cool. Out of all the shows that we saw in the fall, mm -hmm. which show would you like to be in? And what role would you want to be? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Give me a minute. <clears throat> Give me a minute. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> That's a good question. I don't even Wait. think I have an answer for that. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, Newsies, Jack Kelly. Yes. Yeah. Um, we just watched th it. This past weekend. Yes. It was um, so great. So great. I hope they have an encore performance. Yes. Because everybody needs to go see it. Um, but yeah, I would pick Newsies. Please Jack have an Kelly. encore performance. Or Davey. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm more of a Davy. I feel like I'm more of a Davy. I don't even think I could answer that question. I, I don't know. Maybe you guys can answer it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I would say that. I would either want to be in any of the Chicago's and oh. either as like Mama Morton. Oh, <laughs> um, I'm quaking. Uh, I I don't know what else I could. I would could love that. I, I would, would love, love to that. be in Tarzan as the mom. I'm a huge Disney fan, and as soon as I saw that they were doing Tarzan, huge. I lost it. I would um, probably want to be in that. Yo, I would love to see that. So I believe that's it for this video. I think um, we've done a pretty good job, kind of talking a little bit about ourselves. I mean. As the weeks go, we will let you guys know more about our lives and what we're into and how we love watching shows and what we like, what we don't like when we see a show. So the next video is going to be just about one show. And I believe it's time for us to see which show it's going to be. Yeah. We're going to be reviewing Tarzan from PSJA Wolverines. Yes. I am so excited because we have a lot of friends that are in that and it was one of the first shows that we saw this this uh, fall. I watched it maybe, I believe I watched Tarzan about three or four times. I watched it with you, I watched it with Lilia Fertig, I watched it, I think I saw it once by myself. Um, I just, I just love Tarzan. Well, speaking of Tarzan, um, what we want to do going forward with each video is when we talk about each show, we would really love to have some of you guys come in and talk about the show as well, whether that be actors, stage crew, um, directors, um, if we would really like to have you guys, um, Absolutely. And, yeah, and just talk about your show and how you felt the process was for you and we can come up with a few questions, kind of make it like a little interview if you want, um, and yeah, just kind of just sit down and have a conversation, not scripted, just us talking about the show, what we liked, what we didn't like, um, our favorite moments, our favorite, um, you know, 
songs or dance numbers, um, things like that. But yeah, so if you guys want to be a part of that, you can definitely message us on Twitter or email us at thirdactreviews at gmail.com. All of that information will be down below. And also, if you'd like us to go to your school, that way it's a lot easier for us to interview you guys. And if you want to make it a group style or if you want to make it just the director, the vocal director, we would love to speak to all the vocal directors out there. Yes. Because there was a lot heroes. of incredible vocals this fall. It was insane. So yes, we would love to talk to anybody that would love to talk to us. Yeah. So keep an eye out for our next video. Uh, like I said, we're going to be reviewing Tarzan. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this first video and see you next week. Bye. <laughs> okay, is it? Hi guys. So um. Wait, try it again because I was fixing myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> then. Okay. I just realized you're recording, I hate myself. Okay. Why? <clears throat> okay. Hold on, let me pour this in. Hold it. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> This guy does this all the time. Uh -huh. You sure? Oh, God. I'm so scared. He told me that this doesn't lock. Okay. <laughs>